or from my head of news saying, there's been a car accident, Dodie's died, Diana's fine, will you come in? And I said, of course. And I was driving up the road and then I came back again and I had a yellow jacket on and I don't know what it was, something told me to get a black jacket out the wardrobe. And then I went into the studio and we still thought everything was fine. Uh, and then they started to put the barricades around the front of the hospital and uh, Robin Cook, who was our then Foreign Secretary, sadly no longer with us, uh, his plane was being held on the ground at Manila Airport and apparently none of Her Majesty's Government can be in the air when there's going to be an announcement of a royal death. So those were the two big indicators for us. Um, and I went on air um, and then six hours later we were still talking about it. Um, and we were looking for some music to play for a montage at the end with all the beautiful images of her. Uh, and I said to one of my team, there's a cassette, not 22 years ago, there's a cassette in my car I was listening to on the way in. We need to cut round it a little bit, uh, but I think it perfectly sums her up. And it was um, Candle in the Wind, uh, Elton John. And I'm not saying that that's why that happened, but I'm just saying that that, yes. that that is what happened. And then the BBC picked up on it and ITV picked up on it after.